Good morning, brothers and sisters. Send together, we pray to Jesus, the divine word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, divine word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God the Holy Spirit and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, here at Christ the King Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. In this Mass, we pray for the following intentions and for those prayer requests placed in the Shrine's Facebook page. Thanksgiving of Chichi Enriquez and Pearl Fatima Husay, Alicia Cheng, Ira Dominic Peña, Elena Talabis, Roy Talabis, Maria Salunga, Salunga Family, David R. Baladad and Family, Arlene Mesias. For the special intentions of the following, Anna Lizelle Chin, Maria Cristina Pascual, Mesias Family, Asia Family, Espiritu Family, Andrea Camille Valverde, Jake and Joy Valverde, Colonia and Valverde family, Joy Messias, Norin de Guia. For the healing of the following, Chichi Enriquez, Albert and Freda Hemora, Jerry Martinez, Roberta Alon, Cheryl Soriano, Leticia and Joselito Pascual, Arlene Messias, Arlene Udonishi, Jewel Hart Ahesta, Graciano and Amalia Espiritu, Rosalina Ras, Alan Messias, Delia Messias. And for the souls of the following, Jose, Isabelo III, Julia Rita, Norma, Pablito, Dr. Lucio, Mariano, Manolito, Herman, Father Virgilio SVD, Rafael, Edgar, Teresita, Rosemary, Rodelino, Maxima, Alejandra, Leonila, Pablo, Marciana, Trudis, Isabelita, and for all the souls in Purgatory. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Anthony Inson. Our celebration will now begin.
We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we likewise celebrate today the Feast of St. John Eudes, founder and the saint who is also close to the Philippines, St. Ezekiel Moreno, who is acknowledged to be the patron of cancer patients. St. Ezekiel Moreno was an Augustinian who was also first assigned to the Philippines. He was in Mindoro and he was likewise in Palawan before he was assigned elsewhere outside their country. Now for us to become less unworthy as we once again offer this Mass, as we remember cancer patients, as we remember all those who have asked us to pray for them, let us first of all call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, through the intercession of your saints, you have granted to people your gift of healing. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call and forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully chose the priest St. John Eudes and St. Ezekiel Moreno to proclaim the unfathomable riches of Christ, grant us by their examples and teachings that growing in knowledge of you, we may live faithfully by the light of the gospel. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. In these words, prophesy to them. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who have been pasturing themselves. Should not shepherds rather pasture sheep? You have fed off their milk, worn their wool, and slaughtered the fatlings. But the sheep you have not pastured. You did not strengthen the weak, nor heal the sick, nor bind up the injured. You did not bring back the strayed, nor seek the lost but you lorded it over them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered for the lack of a shepherd and became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered and wandered over all the mountains and high hills. My sheep were scattered over the whole earth with no one to look after them or to search for them. Therefore, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, because my sheep have been given over to pillage, and because my sheep have become food for every wild beast for lack of a shepherd, because my shepherds did not look after my sheep, but pastured themselves and did not pasture my sheep, because of these shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, I swear I am coming against these shepherds. I will claim my sheep from them and put a stop to their shepherding my sheep so that they may no longer pasture themselves. I will save my sheep that they may no longer be food for their mouths. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them to his vineyard. Going about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You too, go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and they went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers to give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual daily wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, This last one's work only for one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to them in reply, he said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give the last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of our Salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we live in a world that recognizes or respect 
the principle of fairness, of justice. Ano ba ibig sabihin nitong fairness? Anong ibig sabihin ng hustisya? Na kapag ikaw ay nagtrabaho, ang iyong trabaho ay mapapalitan o properly compensated with the right amount. Kapag ikaw ay may tinanim, ikaw ay may aanihin. Kapag ikaw may sinuksok, if you have savings, then later on, meron kang madudukot. You will have something for the rainy days. Kapag meron kang pinagtsagaan, pinaglagyan ng investment, pinaglaanan ng panahon, karapat dapat at fairness dictates na may karapatan kang makakuha ng reward ng pinaglaanan, pinagtrabahuan, pinag-investan mo na bagay na yan. But we also recognize na hindi lahat ng pumapasok sa business ay magkakaroon ng pare-parehas na antas ng swerte o return of investment. Hindi lahat ng nagtrabaho, pantay-pantay minsan ang nakukuhang equivalent ng kanilang trinabaho. Sometimes magtanim ang isang tao sa lupang ito, sa kabila naman magtatanim yung isa, pareho naman silang nagpagod, minsan mas maraming ani yung kabila na siguro nadadaluyan ng tubig o mas magandang sikat ang araw kesa dun sa nasa kabila. In short, despite our best efforts, meron at merong mas aangat. Meron at merong mas sweswertehin. Meron at merong makakakuha ng swerte. Meron at merong mga mamalasin. And in this, at this point, na hindi na pantay-pantay, despite the fact na pantay-pantay tayo ng nilaan na effort, may mga maiiwan. May mga hindi makakasabay. May mga makokulelat. And the world people have remedies for this phenomenon. Meron tayong tinatawag na solidarity. A good example is the government. Hindi naman lahat tayo mataas ang binabayad na tax. Pero lahat tayo magkakaroon ng parehong mayor, parehong presidente, parehong benefits ng pulis, parehong benefits ng bumbero, parehong benefits ng social security. Although mas malaking binabayad ng iba, mas malaking contribution ng iba, mas malalaking tao ang iba. In the principle of solidarity, nababayaran, nako-cover, nasisigurado ang kapakanan kahit na mga maliliit sa susyudad. Kung ang tao sa kanyang pag-oorganisa ay nakakadulot ng biyaya sa mga maliliit, how much more God? How much more would God not want that someone or some people will be left behind? In the gospel that we have read, maybe we should change the question that we ask ourselves. At the end of the day, ilang pamilya ang kailangang kumain? Ang pamilya ng mga nagtrabaho ng 9 o'clock in the morning, ang pamilya ng mga nagtrabaho ng 10 o'clock, ang pamilya ng mga nagtrabaho ng 12 o'clock, ang pamilya ng mga nagtrabaho ng 3 o'clock, at ang pamilya ng mga natawag na noong 5 o'clock. And it seems the landowner at the end of the day does not want 
families to starve. And so he decided out of generosity. Again, it was not out of justice. Kasi ang justice pagkakapantay-pantay, maganda yan, re-respetohin natin yan, importante yan. But when justice falls short into saving people, the generosity of the master took over. Walang dapat maiwan. Walang dapat isang tabi. Walang dapat magutom kung may magagawa naman tayo para hindi maiwanan, makulelat, malugmok ang ating kapwa. So dear brothers and sisters, again, we recognize worldly values. We recognize worldly ingenuity. But reading the gospel, we are more than people of the world. We are sons and daughters of the Father. At this time, when things are tough, at this time, when 40% of adults in our nation have lost their jobs, we must go back to the principle na hindi natin iiwanan ang isa't isa. Kailangan nating magtulungan, kailangan nating maging mas mabait, kailangan nating mas maging kapatid ng bawat isa. Let us all stand. God's ways are not our ways because His justice and generosity exceed our standards. We can come to Him in prayer knowing that He listens and that He will not fail us. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, through its missionaries and preachers, may proclaim the Lord's gospel with courage and perseverance, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may serve the Lord and one another without expecting merits and rewards, but out of the generosity of our hearts, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those unemployed may find work soon, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the suffering may be comforted by the compassion and understanding of their family and friends, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our frontline healthcare workers, volunteers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with his mantle of protection, sustain them, and give them strength as they perform their respective duties, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And that those who have zealously worked in this life may receive their due reward in God's heavenly kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we are your humble servants and we serve you as best as we can, although you owe us nothing. But we know that you are near to us and that you bless us with every good thing on account of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that these our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise in commemoration of your priests, O Lord, by which we trust to be delivered from evils both present and to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, as in exaltation we proclaim. <laughs> indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Honesto, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with all your apostles, Saint Judas, Ezekiel Moreno, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now call to God our loving Father in the manner Jesus taught us. Our Father, our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I live you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, our Savior, who does not want anyone to be left behind. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Happy are we who are to receive him in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, as we commemorate your saints, Saint Judas and Saint Ezekiel Moreno. Grant, we pray, that what we celebrate in time we may attain with eternal joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant, Grant eternal rest, rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to, and to save, save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God, God forever and ever. And ever. Amen. We if fly to your protection, O Holy, Holy Mother of God. Do not, do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and, and blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our, our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen and Josef Renadimitz. Pray for us. Announcement. The schedule of our devotions integrated in the 6 p.m. Masses are as follows. Monday, devotion to the Holy Spirit. Tuesday, Devotion to Christ the King. Wednesday, Devotion to Our Mother of Perpetual Help. Thursday, Devotion to St. Jude Thaddeus. Friday, Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Saturday, Devotion to Jesus the Divine Word. will start at 5.45 p.m. to be followed by the 6 p.m. Mass. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We continue to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>